So here at the Reintegration Centre, we provide a number of services for clients who are released from the Toronto South Detention Centre specifically. When they come in to see us, we greet them, we offer them something to drink, something to eat. Our clients coming in always feel really comfortable right away. I think one of the benefits for people to come into the Reintegration Centre once they've been released is that there's an opportunity to find some hope and also to get your hands on what you need right away. Basic things, food, water, clothes, those things are accessible there. Once you are released from incarceration, you're reeling from all the changes in your life. Our centre has a grasp on a lot of the challenges that are being faced, so we want people to know that our centre is open to help you. Having immediate access to the Reintegration Centre and service upon being released is really important because it really helps to connect people so they don't fall by the wayside. A huge issue that men face when they're in custody and when they're released is not having anywhere to go. So having those options there for you would be really beneficial. When I was incarcerated, I met people from all different walks of life. They're people. They've just made a mistake. At least there's this building that they can come to. And we have signs that direct them right to us. So we're here, we can help them out. They're very grateful for the services that we offer them and just for us being here and having honest conversations with them and not judging them when they walk through those doors. They're also sometimes a little bit scared and they're anxious. There are no immediate services in this area that will help these guys with a warm and safe transition. So the fact that when they come in here and they get such a warm greeting, they're very, very grateful. The benefit to having all different services available here at the Reintegration Centre right on site is the immediate accessibility to those services. So if we have clients who come in and do want to discuss right away the fact that they've been feeling, for example, anxious and they're really experiencing a lot of anxiety, the ability to have um, one of our mental health professionals on site right away is after we do the initial intake with them, then we would immediately be able to introduce them directly to a worker at you know one of our mental health partners. We are a collaborative model. A variety of services and organizations have come together so that we can all be in the same place to try and help one individual rather than being in a position where we have to send them all over the city looking for help. What we hope to do by having many of our partners under one roof is to try and create some fluidity between the systems. Although we all have a different mandate, I think the whole thing is to support, encourage, and um, empower. And you know, getting a new set of clothes, having somebody ask you what would you like, that's the beginning of a process of recovery, I believe. One of the most important things that we have here at the Reintegration Centre is the peer worker program. So we have three peer uh, support staff and they come to us with lived experience, either within the criminal justice system, uh, substance use, it could be a number of things, but they're familiar with our clients and the challenges that they are facing. From personal experience, I know that there is nothing better than being able to come out and being able to talk to somebody that has been in your shoes and can relate to the feelings that you have, even just understanding what you're talking about, about what's going on in the jail. It builds a bridge right off the bat because they recognize that you've been there and you want to help them. It helps me a lot to, to be honest with them and, and tell them my story and tell them where I'm at today. And it kind of opens them up for ideas of what they want to do with their life. There's nothing like experience. Unless you have actually lived it for yourself, you don't really grasp all the elements that are there. When an individual is released from Toronto South, they may need to um, get a safe bed for the evening, or they may need to um, get to court. They might not know the city, or they just might need some company, or they might need someone to back them up. We ensure that that individual gets to their destination safely, so we kind of seal the deal with an accompaniment. I think the reality is for many of the men that we work with, they might not be ready to make the kinds of changes that would mean living a life of abstinence. People do engage in behaviors that are high risk and we know that they're going to use and so the Reintegration Centre also provides harm reduction supplies and opportunities to talk with people with lived experience about ways to reduce the likelihood of overdose. We want them to make sure that they're careful and considerate when they start using again, if they're going to start using again, to take their time and move back into it slowly, not to, you know, possibly jump right in and use the same amount of substances maybe that they were using when they get in, because their risk of overdose is significantly higher because they have been away from it for a while. So we always have that conversation with them just to let them know to be aware of that. 
We also let them know that we do have safe injection kits here available as well as crack kits. So safer use is something that we try and promote. We recognize the fact that every client is at their own stage when they're getting released. Some of them aren't ready to quit, some of them don't want to quit using drugs and we don't judge them on that. We actually just meet them where they're at and they know that they can come in here, they can ask for what they need. We give it to them, we have a conversation and instead of having people judge them or try to talk them out of using, um, they'll actually come back more and they'll probably follow through with um, remaining safe when they're using the drugs on the outside. I think it's exciting just for me being a recovering drug addict, having some time under my belt, getting back into the workforce and working with guys I understand. It helps my day go by correctly, so to say.